one. Hello, I'm Mark Sletton with England Volkers in Park City. I've been involved with the Mayflower development for years now, um, representing one of the developers buying one of the three parcels out there. I uh, get so many questions on it, we thought we would do this uh, quick uh, video just to kind of bring everybody up to speed. When I say quick, I'm not exactly sure how long it's going to roll because I didn't script it at all. But starting from the big picture, the Mayflower development is on the east side of the Deer Valley Resort. Uh, altogether, it encompasses about 2,500 acres. And again, as I mentioned at the start, divided really by three parcels. Start with the main one and what's really going to drive the development out there, and that is the purchase of the resort parcel on the west side of Highway 40 by Extel Development. I won't go into too much on Extel, but if you need to know who they are and want to know who they are, and you should know who they are, go to their website. It's pretty extraordinary. Any of those of you that have been in New York recently will probably remember one of their iconic new buildings, 157, which is, I think, the largest residential tower in America. Anyway, they've got a broad portfolio of properties they own and have developed and are going to be bringing that expertise here. What it will do is add an enormous amount of value to the whole area. It gives Deer Valley its only real expansion possibility. Um, there, in total, at build-out will be five lifts, servicing about another thousand acres of, of skiing. And most importantly, uh, the developer this time specifically worked with uh, the Deer Valley Resort and instead of having the developer design ski runs that were intended to make ski in and ski out for homes easy, here they designed the runs to make the skiing good. Snow Engineering, the acronym Snow E, probably the largest ski resort design firm in America for sure, designed Deer Valley, most of Park City, and just about every, have their fingerprint on just about every resort in North America, uh, was the architect. The development at build-out will include as much as three plus million square feet of new hotels, single-family homes, residential, but more importantly over there, a resort component as well, including a base lodge that will be Deer Valley's base lodge, much like they have in Snow Park, Empire Pass, and Silver Lake. And um, also employee housing that's going to be right on site. In fact, the employee housing, along with one of the hotels, which that, by the way, that first hotel is going to include around 40,000 square feet of of uh, meeting and conference space, uh, will get going uh, into construction starting probably the, well not probably, but in uh, the 1919, uh, uh, sorry, 2019, I'm a decade behind, 2019, 20, uh, 2020 year. That's when the first lifts will open as well. There'll be two lifts, one of which will be kind of a service lift providing access in and around the base village of the resort, and the other was one that goes all the way up from the base village to Sultan's Nose, providing direct ski access to Silver Lake which those of you that have been on the Jordan Al Gondola recognize that's one of its shortcomings, is that it drops skiers right down into Snow Park at the busiest time of the day. Now Deer Valley will be able to distribute its, its skier traffic, both the lower part of the mountain and the upper part of the mountain with the advent of this new lift. Also coming, which will have, a, I think, a huge pack, impact on traffic for our town here in Park City, is a 600 to 800 car parking lot that will be right at the base. That's going to take a lot of traffic from all of Park City. I live in Park Meadows, and frankly, it'll be a lot faster for me to go to Deer Valley now to go there, park in that lot, go up to Sultan's Nose and be skiing in the upper part of the mountain than to access it in any other way. And when you think about skier traffic, particularly at the end of the day, exiting out of Deer Valley and heading out towards the junction, or both junctions, really, uh, 224 and 248, I think it's going to significantly mitigate traffic here in our town. But that's a separate issue. We can talk about that later. What I want to talk about now is the second part of the development, and that's what I represent. It's called Mayflower Lakeside. Altogether, it will be another 100, and by the way, those of you that know it, that's going to be uh, like our Village of the Shores product, which is stacked three bedroom units. And they'll be priced somewhere from probably 525,000 up to maybe the mid sixes. And then townhomes like the Shores in Stillwater, which would be in size from about 2,200 square feet up to 3,200 square feet, and should be priced from the upper sixes to the mid eights. Um, that gives it a really incredible component. The townhomes priced in the $350 to $385 per square foot range, it's the stack flats priced in the high 200s per square foot. And when you look at what's going to happen across the way in terms of what the Extel people are talking about today, which is development in uh, or residential prices exceeding $1,000 a square foot, the value proposition is extraordinary. I'd also suggest that if you take a look at what's happened to pricing and values over time in Lower Deer Valley, which commenced the Deer Valley Master Plan came into effect in 1981, 
and uh, it's now substantially built out. A little a few infill single family lots here and there, and the base of the of the snow park expansion resort left to be done, but that will be all hotel and so forth. So you've got a part of Deer Valley, actually all of Deer Valley master plan that is for all intents and purposes built out. Prices that uh, range from 600 to, as you all know, 1300 1400 a square foot. Here you have an opportunity to get into ground level and property that's going to be priced significantly less. And at the end of the day, we'll have a very strong support base. In addition, going back to Extel now and on the west side of the highway, in addition to the ski resort services, just like every other developer in North America, they're going to be building significant commercial spaces for shops, restaurants, ski shops, galleries, and the like. So you're going to have a true base village to go to within just a short distance right across the way. In fact, most of it will probably be serviced by shuttle in the not too distant future. I can't promise that, but it, that certainly would make sense given the bed base that's going to be coming. So 190 stack lot condominiums like the Village of the Shores, and then about 200 uh, t attached townhomes. All will have extraordinary lake views, extraordinary mountain views. And it's that first part that really kind of differentiates this part of Deer Valley from anything else. We're in Lower Deer Valley in the summertime. Granted, we have concerts and hiking and mountain biking and so forth. But at the end of the day, you're really hoofing it or busing it or car, you know, riding in a car into town to go to dinner or the shops or galleries. Um, here you're going to have that right across the street. Plus, you're going to have access to one of Utah's great outdoor amenities, that being the Jordan Dell Reservoir for water skiing, uh, boarding, um, fishing of all kinds, sailing. Just an incredible amount of w summer sport activities that occur on the water there. So this is, again, this is something that's been happening for 30 years. Many of you that will be viewing, viewing this video are kind of naysayers saying, yeah, I've heard about it before, it's never happened before, it's been in the works forever, it's never going to happen. Well, it is happening. It's happening now. You'll see a lot of construction starting this summer, both in the product that I'm involved with, and that's the expansion of Village of the Shores and the Shores at Stillwater, but also all of the grubbing and cutting and so forth that's going to be taking a place with regards to the lift alignments, the ski run alignments, and everything that's being done on the hill. That'll be two lifts this year. And then also the start of phase one, which will include a base, um, base lodge for Deer Valley, a hotel and a media and conference space, in employee housing and uh, the parking lot that I was referring to earlier. If you've got any questions, please give me a call. My number is 435-640-0930. We're going to start building the website here fairly soon. I can't tell you when to start looking for it, but uh, it'll be available and we'll be updating it regularly, kind of putting it together, not on a piecemeal basis, but sort of on a modular basis. When we have some good content, good photos, good renderings, good floor plans and so forth, They'll all be going on to the website, and we'll be keeping it uh, posted on a regular basis. Thank you very much for your time and attention, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.